Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you what kind of uh, Oculus Air Link performance you can expect from the TP-Link Archer C6 router which uh, costs around uh, $40. So first I'll briefly explain my setup. Uh, I kept my original uh, router from my ISP which is uh, located under the table and the new TP-Link router is connected to it via the white Ethernet cable you can see. I then wired my PC to the router using a CAT5 Ethernet cable. If you want to know more, uh, I will leave a link to my full router setup uh, video which also describes the step-by-step -step, uh, router configuration. As my PC, I'm using a Lenovo Legion 5 Pro laptop uh, which comes um, with an uh, AMD Ryzen 5600H uh, processor and NVIDIA 3060 GPU and 1TB of uh, SSD uh, hard drive and 16GB uh, gigab of RAM running at uh, 3.2 GHz. For these tests I will be using my Oculus Quest 2 headset um, uh, running at uh, 90 Hz uh, refresh rate and uh, the rendering resolution set to 1.3. So first let us look at the real-time bitrate I am able to achieve and I am using a Windows Task Manager to measure it and more specifically when you look at the OVR server process in the network tab you can see that the current um, network throughput is about uh, 90 megabits per second and um, to prove that it's uh, actually quite accurate I'm going to raise uh, lower the, the maximum bitrate value in AirLink to 50 megabits per second you can see from the output that the network utilization of the OVR server dropped to pretty much uh, exactly uh, 50 megabits uh, per second. So I'm going to raise the maximum bitrate value in AirLink again and you can see that the network utilization is uh, climbing and uh, the maximum throughput of uh, the TP-Link Archer C6 router and my network setup seems to be around uh, 120 megabits uh, per second area. So now I have jumped to Half-Life Alex with the same settings and you can see from the task manager output that the network utilization is um, around uh, 110 megabits per second area uh, with a maximum uh, near um, 120. So this seems to be the maximum uh, throughput for the TP-Link Archer C6 router and um, that's, that's pretty good as far as I'm concerned. And the game itself uh, runs smoothly without any noticeable stutters uh, and everything seems to be totally fine. And to give you a better overview of the network latency and overall performance you can expect then here is uh, the gameplay with uh, Oculus Link uh, performance uh, overlay enabled and you should be looking at the top uh, left uh, graph which shows uh, uh, encode, encoding, transfer and decoding latency and um, uh, the green, green bar is uh, actually the transfer or network uh, latency in this case red is encoding and blue is decoding but we are, we are going to focus on the green one and um, you can actually see that uh, there was a bit of a spike which didn't affect the gameplay but generally the um, network latency uh, is uh, somewhere in the 5 millisecond or lower area about 3, 4, 5 and uh, the game runs smoothly there are no, no real interruptions and uh, the router uh, seems to be performing uh, splendid. I personally have been mostly playing Dirt Rally too, where any lagging or stuttering means that uh, you're usually off the track and this really hasn't happened at all and I've been uh, able to enjoy my wireless PC VR experience. Uh, so overall the TP-Link Archer C6 router gets a solid uh, green light from me if you're thinking about uh, buying it yourself. It really is a budget but 
quality router and uh, does its job really well. So make sure to check the links in the description for my uh, full router setup video and uh, I'll see you in another video. Bye.